connects, I've had to replace the IPC or instrument cluster, the original decide the pack up sometimes it works sometimes it wouldn't the speedo dropped off every now and again the rev counter stopped working all together and the center screen was just lit up completely black but the van would still start and run now i fitted a second hand unit i've already programmed it in via ford ids unfortunately i couldn't adjust the mileage it's now showing 189,000. it originally this is done 148,000. Now, IDS will allow you to change margin. It, it will allow you to increase, and it will, will also allow you to decrease, but only gives you one chance to decrease it. If it's already been done before, then it wouldn't allow you to do it. So, beans is second hand cluster. It's already been done once before, so I couldn't do it again. The only way to change the mileage now is to send it off somewhere and have the the ROM read and well, corrected basically and anywhere between 40 or 60 quid can do it uh, I haven't programmed the keys to it yet which I normally do via IDS which requests incos to access the immobilizer now I'm going to use my snap-on Sellers Pro which allows me to program keys without having to input the encodes for the immobilizer uh, this unit is going up for sale. Uh, you know, I prefer Ford IDS rather than, you know, Snap-on. <laughs> you know, uh, you know, with IDS, I can do everything which I wanted to do, programming and everything. Uh, this will allow you to program so much, but not everything. So, first up, ignition on. As you can see, the immobilizer is like it's flashing because the key's not programmed. With the ignition on, the battery is on charge at the moment to keep it alive. So I will go down to Ford. Loading. And we will go down to, it's a 2009. All the way down, Ooh. transit connect, uh, RP3A, yes, it requires S69 keys, so I have a bunch of keys, 69, not 63, my bad, All right. 69 and uh, it's a bit awkward to do one handed. I just dropped the keys. 69. Let me just find the connector and just plug it in. Key 69. Here we go. Get them out of the way. All right. Continue. And we want. Immobilizer pats. What was it in my cluster? No. Do 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 do. No, it's just tests. Yeah. Right. Pats. We want any fifth year. Do 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 do. Yeah. Continue. And what was that? Uh, yeah. We know. Yeah, on these vehicles, the, the immobilizer is actually built into the instrument cluster, not the PCM or engine control module. So, yeah. All right, we want other systems. Service functions, key programming, here we go. Ignition on. Now, there's a 20 minute security delay in progress. And is now counting down. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna leave that, put that to one side and let it run for the 20 minutes. Around 
this fan. <coughs> oh. Yeah, this van's been fully serviced. It's had new diesel filter, new cam belt, which is in the previous video, coolant change, oil filter, air filter, and uh, oil change. Because this little old connector will be going up for sale as well. I've known, I've no use for it. It's just, well, to be honest, it's in the way. You know. And better on charge. It is filthy, it needs a wash, it's been stood dirty, dirty. but you know, it has mm. the full size passenger seat, which normally connects, as everybody knows, they're normally narrow and they just fold down like a table, but this is a full size passenger seat. Uh, the rear seats, you know, it does need a tidy, uh, you know, uh, one thing, yeah, yes, uh, it's got a leather steering wheel, which is an upgrade, which is done. Uh, stereo controls, uh, this CD radio. Uh, this does have actually Bluetooth. No phone selected. Yeah. And the mic for that is up there. So it's factory fitted Bluetooth, so you can pair your iPhone and everything to it. And it does pair your iPhone, so I've to pair mine to it. And, uh, yeah, it's got manual windows, manual uh, electric mirrors, but they can be upgraded. The wiring of the dash loom is there for electric windows and electric mirrors. All they've got to do is fit the wiring in the doors, change with the regulator to electric, and change mirrors to electric, and put switches in. Bob's your uncle, electric windows with uh, mirrors. And, uh, you know, it's not bad for a well, 11, 12 year old. Low liner, yes, as I said before, it does need to clean. The seats do fold down and roll forward to give you a bigger load area. But for a crew cab, yeah, it's not too bad. Yeah, there is a, a ding there, a couple there. It looks bad in the sun, but there's not actually that bad. And I think there's one in the top of the sill. But that's the way it is. Yeah, let's see how that's doing. And it's down to, well, it's up to three minutes. So we've got a long time to wait. Uh, yeah, so if anybody's interested in buying a Connect, oh yeah, there's also got auto wipers and automatic headlamps. So if anybody's interested in buying this little old Connect, let me know. I've seen, you know, I've seen them advertised on eBay. Well, for, for the crew cab version, from twenty five hundred upwards. Uh, me be me, you know. Uh, I'm not that greedy. It's just in the way. Quick sale. I'll let it go for seventeen, eighteen hundred. And uh, I'll, yeah, I'll probably put it on eBay as a buy now at that price, seventeen or eighteen hundred. You know. cheapest one on the net well on ebay anyway it'll probably be snapped straight up how are we doing let's have a look what's it at oh it's at 18 minutes oh boy it's hot today uh, what's it say on that uh, 28 Scorcher. That's one this week. And right. Eighteen thirty six. And there we go. This is please wait. And we want program new key. Yeah, 
we know that? Okay, continue. Ten seconds, okay. Okay. Exit. <laughs> Okay, now, and it's program visit out of gear. And there we go. Now we know that works. I'll go through the process again and I will erase all three keys. Erase it going. Turn ignition on. And then there's another 20 minute wait. And what I'll do, I will erase all three keys and I will program the two existing keys to this van. And then it's job completed. Now the keys have been erased and two keys, well two original keys have been reprogrammed to see if both work. Right, ignition off, ignition on. Yep. <clears throat> Try the other one. Yep, that's fine. Is the menu and everything working? Yeah. there we have it job completed well actually not job completed Let's turn ignition off and turn ignition back on next job is is to clear the codes clear codes engine off yet yeah close codes cleared now is job completed.